Welcome back down on the farm at Bjornholm for episode 21 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right, first job. It's been a little while since I've been down on the farm in Bjornholm. But we're going to get rid of the chaff trailer because I bought the uh, Crone Big X and a couple of Flegel trailers to tow behind it because it won't pull that chaff trailer. Much as I love that trailer. I did want to get the Chrome Big X for the larger maze header, so I'm going to sell it. Uh, needs getting rid of. So that's the first step. So second step is buying another trailer, something a little bit smaller that the tractors can pull. That if the forage harvester is using the Flegels or a Flegel, I do have another trailer. I have the large cramp trailer with the lorry, the truck, but I do want another trailer. So. What I sold that for, I should probably be able to get another one. So, I think the one up from the Flegel might be a good idea. And not too much more money, actually. I don't want to get the aggro line, that was quite big. Um, so, there we go. So, we will take this um, over to one of the fields I believe is the plan for today I'm going to go I'm trying to think now which field I'm going to that's terrible isn't it very complicated business this probably over to field 37 I believe um, yeah field 37 um, we are going to do finally sugar beet harvest i know we've been prevaricating around the bush doing various different jobs but we are going to do the sugar beet harvest today we're going to do field 37 i'll probably do field 23 off screen because um, i know with sugar beet you don't get a huge amount of money for it but you do get it's quite productive in so much you get a lot off of a field um so yeah that's the field i'm going to do we will whiz down and jump into our harvester the t4 when we get up to field 37 i'm probably going to have to put the auto the auto help on because i can't remember which controls do what um so i'll just pop that on just so i can sort myself out i still didn't buy that trailer did i, I was going to get the uh, header trailer I should do that at some point as well because that's just ridiculous. I did say that last time I drove it and I completely forgot. Never mind. It's not far to excuse me, not far to go. Um, just up the hill here. And we will be ready to begin. If you don't have the Holmer DLC pack, um, download it. Absolutely download it. Um, I know it's one of those situations now that with uh, Farming Simulator 17 on the horizon, um, people, if you don't have these packs, it's quite reluctant to buy them because if you're going to buy the new game and then potentially any DLCs that come out for that, you're not going to want to buy DLCs for this game. You know, I, I get that, I understand that. So, right, we'll open this all up, unfold everything. We'll unfold the header and start up this bad boy. I say this is another one where the uh, animations and the detail um, are brilliant. It's, it, it's a fantastic um, download did wait a while for this to come out and then wasn't sure whether to get it or not and uh, because it comes with the Terra variant as well with all the attachments and all the extra bits it's a good download pack um, it's finding uses for everything um, but this is yeah it's, it's a much faster sugar beet harvester as well the one that you get sort of in game stands is quite slow moving um, and this one's got a much bigger tank capacity as well. I think it's like 45,000 litres, I think, the tank capacity on this. So, um, yeah, it's a good bit of machinery. I mean, the only downside to it is the sugar beet um, trailer back, whatever you want to call it, that goes in the Terra variant, 
it's got a much smaller load capacity which means you're kind of backwards and forwards a lot from this but yeah it's one of those things um, yeah the animation's really really good you can actually see the potatoes going around uh, the sh potatoes the sugar beet um, yeah all the different bits moving and yeah it's really good I do like this one it's a big bit of machinery it's pretty cool I've yet to see one of these in real life um, but they are big beasts aren't they probably end up doing what I normally do um, I will skip ahead bits either speed bits up um, I will probably also do my field so that I end up with a rectangle left that the worker can go up and down that way I can go backwards and forwards with the uh, the trailer emptying it I'm trying to avoid missing any bits can be a little bit twitchy it's um, because it's hinged at the front section just behind the cab um, it takes a little while to get used to that kind of that movement of the vehicle um, but it has got the different steer modes I showed that in the episode when I bought the um, harvester and it has sat actually to be fair for a few episodes I bought it and then didn't do a thing with it um, but I did show that when I bought it the uh, the crab steer and the rigid steer and all the different steering modes that are available. Should do some in cab, I think. Really, I uh, I do like looking at the vehicles from the outside, but yeah. I will get some in cab in there. I'm just going to mop up these couple of bits I missed when I came around under that tree. The actual branches are very low and I hit the uh, the pipe the conveyor belt whatever you want to call it so I'm have to come back and chop that limb off that tree so I can do the sugar beet in here again um, or it means switching sugar beet field to a different field maybe I don't know we'll think about that um, but I did miss a bit of the sugar beet on the, on the floor so I grabbed a bit of that it must almost be full There we go. Right, let's unload this. Now the great thing with this is it unloads so quickly. It's like a wall of sugar beet. See what I mean? No, I mean that is rapid. <laughs> Forty thousand liters into that trailer, <laughs> so quickly. Right, move that out of the way, and crack on for a bit. I think. Yeah, I'm thinking field twenty-three. I'll probably do off-screen, and I've got quite a few fields now where I've done various different harvests I did the canola harvest did that wheat harvest and then foraged up the straw swaths um, 
I did earlier on I'm trying to think on what field it was now part of field 22 because I split field 22 I did a whole crop harvest on maize so I've got a few fields now that do need cultivating and fertilising so again I might do a few of those off camera I think just go around and do a little bit of uh, housekeeping on the fields um, then I might do an episode seeding one or two of them I'm probably going to do another whole crop actually I might do it because I did plant up on let me think 34 and 39 I think I joined those fields together and did a full maize crop up there so that that's got to be ready for harvesting by now I've got the rest of 22 where I combine 22 and 19 together that's got maize in which I can do a whole crop on uh, I've got 20 13 and 14 I linked together I've got canola in they they must be ready to harvest by now um, what else have I got 35 I've got wheat in I was going to save that one because it was over by the dairy farm as being a field that I would leave I would harvest and then leave the straw swaths in place so I could collect straw and then do straw bales if I needed to for the dairy farm so that'd be another one we need harvesting at some point so yeah I've got a few that probably need doing a few odds and ends and a few that need seeding um, I haven't done any potatoes yet that's another thing I need to do so I probably need to pick a field or fields and get some potatoes in I don't know where I might do that actually I'm trying to think I'm trying to think where I would sell the potatoes where I'm likely to get the best price for them and then maybe move a bit of equipment over and buy a couple of fields near where that might be and have a kind of potato what's that potato unit <laughs> sounds a bit weird uh, yes potato unit specially set up for just doing potatoes hmm we'll see because I could always just stick it in 36 to be fair and I could have uh, sugar beet in one and potatoes in the other and they're all kind of in one place um, yes don't know anyway right yeah this fills up pretty quick so another load back like you saw in the last one it's not you know massively I mean it's massively productive but it doesn't pay out massively I think it just just comes down to the amount of crop you're selling is how you make the money not the fact you're getting a lot for the crop itself but then I like say I've said it before and I'll keep saying it selling it here at the freight yard you will get a lower price per ton but then you get the double bubble when you sell it on when you send the train so but the, the price can fluctuate the more you sell obviously the sugar weight you've got a lot of it the price can drop um like that seems a bit lower actually um and if it hits a bit of a slump yeah you, you don't make a huge amount on it so depends that said, if you hit it when you've got great demand and you've got a load of sugar beet on hand, you can make a killing. But it's like any of them, you know. Uh, at the moment, we're selling crop to make money, to put money into the bank so we can get the next bits of equipment, the next field, the next whatever we're going to do. Um, I really am still toying with getting the slurry tanker and all the bits and bobs that go with it. I know when I looked at it before and I weighed up all the mass and then I said in an episode it just wasn't viable, it wasn't worth doing. I'm just thinking like I've never done it just to to have a go you know so what if it costs money so what if it's not particularly viable the amount you pay out you're not going to get back particularly quickly but what the hell you know you make it a different episode something different to see a bit more interesting to watch so I may well do so a few things on the cards lots of jobs to do um, yes can't see this gameplay series stopping anytime soon. I was thinking because I've got this one down on the farm. I'm also doing the Westbridge Hills Welcome. I was thinking of doing Sosnovska because I haven't done that. Starting another series on Sosnovska, a gameplay series. The problem is I don't really want to do another one where I start from scratch again, uh, like I did on Westbridge Hills, because I think I'm up to oh, what episode I'm up to now. Oh, I don't know. It's got to be getting up there. Um, and I haven't really got very far at all I, you know 
and that's the nature of the beast playing from scratch you know it takes a while to get going so I don't know whether or not to do a lot of off-screen gameplay on Sosnoska and then start the gameplay series a little bit in so I've got a bit of money and we can kind of just get on with it whether to sort of start off do a bit of login and I could always do that just do that as the gameplay series it's I've, I showed one on Westbridge Hills where I didn't I didn't want to cheat or do anything underhand not that there's anything underhand with logging at all um, but I didn't want to build up ahead of money too quickly too easily I wanted to really work up at it and do the fields and build by the fields a bit at a time but I think what I might do with Sosnoska is do a start the other way and show you a way that you can make money relatively quickly to start building your farm but not in the standard farming on the standing farming template if that makes any sense um, so I might do that yeah that might be a, an idea might give that a go but as with everything that everyone's focused on at the moment uh, with farming simulator 17 just around the corner farming simulator 15 is going to hit a bit of a slump I would imagine I suppose once the new game comes out everyone's going to be focused on that um, so I don't know how much gameplay I would get out of starting a new map and it would also mean if I start a new map this one down on the farm and Westbridge Hills would have to take a bit of a hit because I wouldn't be able to do them as often and I know I seem to focus on one and I was really trying to get Westbridge Hills going which means the Bjornholm map has suffered a little bit um, and if I start Sosnowska then both of them will suffer a little bit um, but I don't know really. I love. I do like Sosnoska. It's a brilliant map. When the gold edition came out, I, I really, really do like that map. It's got a lot of great features um, on it. Some good forests, big open spaces, um, the river running through the middle of it. I just, it's, it's good. I do like it. It's a good map. Another one if you want to increase the longevity of your game. If you haven't got the gold edition, get it. It's great. Loads of new equipment, new map. Um, if you have no intention of getting Farming Simulator 17 just yet and you want to really eke out the gameplay on this, then I would suggest, yeah, get it. If you haven't already got it, get the Gold Edition. It's worth every penny. So, almost full again. So, I mean, so that's 40,000. What, I've done three loads already? So. 120,000 litres already off this um, it's just one field so you know you get a lot of crop so whilst you don't get paid a huge amount for it the bulk of crop you're producing means you do make a fair bit of money it doesn't yeah it's not a bad one actually to do I've been putting off doing it because I've been doing other things but it's not bad I apologise I've just I'm, I've been waffling on we're trying to watch the episode. I should be explaining what I'm doing and unloading and talking about the vehicles and the harvester and I'm just rattling away about all sorts of stuff. I so, another unload. See how much we get. I'm sure the money's going to drop. It has to. Can't stay at the price it was because we've got rid of a fair bit already. same it's not too bad hasn't dropped a huge amount and here we are back again not much of this field left to do, in fairness. And there we are. Done. Not bad. Good bit of machinery. Um, I know I did skip a couple of bits ahead. I did speed up a couple of bits. I didn't kind of follow it right the way through the entire harvest. It probably still would have taken a couple of episodes. Um, but yeah, good bit of kit. I do like that. 
It's a good harvester. I'm trying to remember the controls again <laughs> to close it down. Sorry for the pause. My mind was thinking. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We finally got the, the sugar beet harvest done. Uh, I'm going to go up and do the other field off screen. Uh, download the DLC if you haven't got it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Come down, have a look at the next one I do. And thanks for watching.